Hello everyone, my name is Carolyn West. I'm very excited for this opportunity to let you get to know me a little bit more and my interests and my experiences relative to this position. And I took the liberty of printing out the notes, so I will be referring to those. So if you see me glancing down, I'm checking out what I wrote to make sure I stay on track. So the first question is just to share a little bit about my background as it applies to the position of high school mentor. I just completed student teaching this spring at, for a sixth grade classroom at Granger Elementary. This is a highly impacted Haviland school that was part of earning my master's degree in educational psychology with a focus on elementary education. And I will have licensure for that. The process has been a little bit slow with coronavirus, but I have completed all the requirements and just waiting to receive that. I also have a Bachelor's of Arts in Marketing, and so I can bring that experience with online communication, with working with databases, and with analyzing data and making decisions based on that. I have been a tutor through online platform wiseant.com. Um, as part of that, I helped a senior work through some math packets so that he could graduate on time with his class name. I have also worked with the Next Step program, which is a reading program. This was with a seventh grade girl who was way below grade level, but I did help her to build her confidence, increase her fluency, and, and she was saying that she enjoyed reading at the end of it when before she had not enjoyed it at all. I also worked in the Higher Steps program, which is an extension. So next level up, this was with an 11th grade student, and I just helped her to increase her fluency and confidence and, you know, encourage her on her way to becoming a surgeon or whatever she wants to do. So that's my basic background as it pertains. The next question is, why do you want to be a high school mentor? First of all, I really value education. I do believe it opens doors. It helps people to have a better understanding of what's going on around them. I want my, all the students to have you know, the ability to access the opportunities that are around them because there are a number of opportunities and sometimes it's just having the education to know how to approach them. I in, actually in high school I also had an experience where I realized that I can learn anything but it just might take me a little bit longer and not be as fancy as my peers. But I do believe the same for all students that they they can learn anything. Sometimes it might take some creative approaches, maybe some extra background, but I do want to give them the opportunity because I do believe they can learn it. I also want to make sure that these students have a solid base before they move on as adults, that they have these basic core skills that they need, that they're reading, writing, mathematics, science, so that they can go forward and be functional and contributing and happy. And I also want to be a high school mentor because it sounds like fun. I think it will be very fulfilling. And the last, the third question is, what skills do you bring to support our students and counselors? As I mentioned before, I have a lot of experience with tutoring children, including teenagers. I've worked with students 6th grade, 5th grade, 4th grade, 1st grade, 7th grade, 11th grade. I also have had a lot of experience working with different online platforms to bring out that technology. I have experience with big data, with doing data analysis and interpreting it, making judgment calls on that. I have a solid core knowledge of math. I've also attended IEP and 504 meetings and have experience with that. I also, you know, have my own struggle with learning a foreign language. I tried learning Spanish, Japanese, and Danish, and I can understand the frustration of having things you want to articulate but not having the vocabulary or I'm also saying that comparison to English can be very crazy. It's a very fun language, but sometimes it does make sense. And, you know, I love analyzing languages. I also have experience with troubleshooting and with figuring out tech issues. So then for the last section is just anything else I think you need to know. I just want to mention, you know, I'm very excited about this opportunity. I love trying new things. I enjoy creative writing, I love art and astronomy, and I'm just excited to see how this goes. Thank you.